So we are back again finding the Thargoids. This time in HIP 20527 at Blackensop Barracks. I'm joined by Commander Lone Warrior 739, who was already in system fighting the Thargoids when I deployed from the station. After engaging the Thargoids separately, we began to help each other out and decided to wing up against the threat. Most of the fights were pretty much lacklusters. I mean, I engaged the Thargoids with medium to close range for the most part, even though I shouldn't because my Python cannot maneuver as well as my Challenger or my Crusader achieves them. Commander Lone Warrior is a sniper with freaking well guns. Take them off barely an inch away from me. You have no idea how much I struggled to try to turn the ship upright. I don't know if it's the gravity or the fact that the Python just lacks the same mobility as the smaller ships I've been using. Or the more maneuverable ones, I guess. Inside. But I struggled so hard just to get myself upright and bring my guns to bear on it. I'll say this, the Python really holds it better though than like the Crusader that I normally use, or even the Chieftain. It feels like if it's too sensitive on those, if I slightly turn it, like the ship goes way off target and I'm find myself looking it back. It's really simple trying to hit the larger Thargoids at the interceptors because I mean, they're the size of the house, it's really difficult to miss. But the parts of the fight that I didn't end up using were the parts where I ended up in danger because I did not bring anything to nullify the EMPs and Commander Lone Warrior kept coming in to my rescue <laughs> within the first fight.
I usually equip my ships with Gauss cannons, but I've recently started equipping the multi cannons, especially the enhanced ones because of the range. Because once you get surrounded, and it happens occasionally, especially when you're jumping in the system, you get surrounded by a bunch of scouts. Even though I have heavy armor and all that, it is so hard to focus fire and get a good hit on them with the Gauss cannons. There's something about the sturdiness of this ship that just gives you some confidence. Because you figure when I'm flying the Crusader, I can dish out and I can move, but I can't take a hit for my life. If I get overwhelmed, if one or two interceptors show up and they start both hitting me, I'm pretty much done for it. Unless there's a magical way I'm going to escape and just keep boosting away and they just ignore me or somehow silent running, which hasn't worked at all for me. But people keep swearing by it that you can use silent running to get away from them. And just drop a bunch of heat sinks. I actually haven't really flown the Python this much since probably when I first got it. It's an amazing ship, especially because it can take a hit, not just dish it out. Now I know a lot of commanders prefer the Crate MK2 because it is a much faster version of the Python. And it has a ship launch fighter, which no one really uses, and it gets destroyed like in three seconds against these Thargoid interceptors. Commander Lone Warrior for the most part just kept looking out for me and making sure that I wasn't in too much danger. But they pretty much stuck to themselves and fought on the other side of it, tried to eliminate as many of the fighters as they could. I tried my best to break away from the interceptor I was currently fighting, even though he kept firing on me as I boosted away from him. Yeah, it was nerve wracking because I was pretty sure that I was going to drag this one right behind me, and then we're going to be jumped by three of them. Because of how close the engagement was, I had to go quickly and turn off my report crimes against me. Because I had turned it on because the previous night I was actually being attacked by a ganger while I was fighting with Thargoids along with I think it was one or two pilots. Luckily he was all barking no bite because he couldn't cause any damage to me, even though my shields were already offline. But I forgot to turn it back off because he kept coming back to the system. I just remember that last second when I got close to Commander Lone Warrior. Again, Lone Warrior with that perfect sniper shot.
I was actually originally fighting this war in Lop Space. That's what they're calling the Brazilian League of Pilots or something. But then I realized this actually has nothing to do with my territory. Um, my base is in Diaguandri, so it is in my best interest to defend the territory near where I live. And at first I actually found plenty of pilots showing up to defend the territory, but slowly within the last two days, I have seen maybe one or two pilots at the most. So I'm pretty sure we're going to lose the systems we've been fighting in, which is a little sad, because we've wasted a lot of time here, it seems. I don't know if it's because we've all spread out thin, or the AXI is focusing on certain systems over other systems, or maybe people are just tired of having to fight this thing. I think it's been like two weeks we've been fighting them for. And I mean, I, I gotta even say myself, I had to take a bit of a break, you know, one or two days and just go do other things in the game. But it's a, it's a shame if we really start losing these other systems because people are focusing on, I guess, what are priority systems. We were just trying to hurry up and eliminate the threat as fast as possible, I'm assuming. I mean, it was working. Um, I needed some babysitting, obviously. But, um, we did very well together. And, um, I hope I get another chance to fly with them. I was actually already running low on ammo, I think I had like 21 shots left, but so I didn't want to waste them, so I just started firing remote flak at it. I mean, I'm sure it does some damage, not significant, but I'm just trying to get the shields down. So I just kept doing anything I could. I stopped bringing the EMP nullifier, or whatever it's called. Actually, I have no idea if you can ever use it Because, as I mentioned in one of my last videos, I can never catch it. I get maybe like a 75% chance of missing it, and a small 25% chance of catching it. And that's me, you know, really giving myself more credit than I actually get, because I'm pretty sure I miss it almost every time. And it's usually the glitch that saves me from crashing. I'm pretty sure while I'm here spinning around, um, Commander Lone War is beating the crap out of them.
Five dollars the winner! Good luck to you. See you, space cowboy.